bitches, OGs and OGs. Hop on out, ooh, like Ginobili. Rest in peace, Diddy, he cuts like he cold. She pop up. What's up, Snowder Dude Crew? It's yours truly, Snowder Dude. Right now, we're gonna get to the real story of B Love. Hey, bro. Like I said, we're getting into these graphic memories one by one. Uh, I, I, I seen the one on Dougie B. You know, I'm gonna see that one before I actually get into his music a little bit. I know y'all been telling me to get into his music too, so hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Let's go and get into it. 17 year olds who just graduated high school were shot and killed overnight in the Bronx. One of the latest victims of the gun violence that's come, come along in the city in recent weeks. Everything for yellow. Kill OK Gang, B Love, one of the most dynamic rappers from the Explosive Bronx Street movement that has shattered the streets of New York and is now spreading throughout the country and worldwide. After the killing of Pop Smoke in 2020, RIP, it felt as if the New York drill scene went into a rut and was in desperate need of our creativity. With some of his early pioneers like Chef G and Sleepy Hollow shifting away from the drill scene, it felt as if the New York drill scene was slowly dying from lack of creativity. But when you thought it was over, the birthplace of hip hop breathed new life into the scene. But it's never over for New York when it comes to music. Never. 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 What, this past, uh, let's play past generation or past era or wave. We got a boogie out of that. It's never over for New York. And we got Pop Smoke out of it. Well, Pop Smoke was like in the in the gray area, gray area between the eras. It's never over for New York, Chicago, I want to say Louisiana, Florida, and California. The, them, the, them, the, yes, Atlanta. Oh my God, Atlanta, it's never over. I don't give a fuck. Uh, uh, Memphis, it's never over. Them spots, it's never over. Never. Y'all know that. I don't know why buddy even said that. It's never over. The help of incredible. It's twelve million motherfuckers. You think they don't got at least one that's gonna pop off a year? Shit, I. Young producers that create savage rappers like Be Love, bringing a nostalgic feeling that is refreshing, reinventing the sound with samples and making it more appealing to a new listener, while retaining the graciousness of drill music. And within a year, Be Love has outworked some of his peers and ops, accumulating millions of views on YouTube, selling out shows, and, and gaining recognition from his music idols like Nick Mill, G Herbo, and Trippy Red, just to name a few. But his journey here has not been an easy one, losing a handful of friends or affiliates before the age of 20. 20. Diddy, Noah, Yellow, just to name a few. From the death of his granddad to the betrayal of close friends, the heartbreak continues. But through it all, he flourished and now has an opportunity to make a name for Wait, himself and provide peace. Hold up, because y'all tell me Shy EK, that's, I don't know how to, spell it, to say his name, but y'all saying uh, 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 Shy EK, Jiggy Man. I thought that was. I thought that I thought they was cool. What happened? See, bro, like, and y'all was like, you know, snore. That's that's the jiggy man. That's him and yeah. I, I read my comment section. I read it. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yeah, yeah. Damn, this shit came up with biting. That was shit. Was, that shit was kind of spicy. But uh. What I was saying. I don't know. I'm just lost right uh, at that part right there. I'm lost. Family. My name is CJ from Shh. YouTube, and this is the real story of Beloved. Beloved, born Quishon Cannon on December 12, 2000, in the Bronx. Named after his mother, Shauna. Although he had a relationship with his father, he was exceptionally close with his mother. He grew up in the house of six siblings, three brothers, and three sisters. God he was the fourth damn. child. During the early days of his life, he grew up in Cortland's Avenue, but moved in 187 when Baltman put his mom to attend middle school where he met his first set of friends like Wine Bill, Skiff Lark, Dougie B, who he's still close with today. But the street politics have been testing their friendship. He graduated from middle school in 2012 and moved back to Calmont. 
this is where the OGs and his father's friends started to give him the nickname Buddy Love after the Eddie Murphy character. His dad, who had a similar name in the streets, known as Buddha. But Sean's friends started to call Why him. Why they call that nigga Buddy Love, bro? Hold up. <laughs> Why they call that nigga Buddy Love, bro? Why they call this nigga Buddy Love? That shit crazy! Be love for short. As he started to develop into his teens, he picked up sports, playing both football and basketball. He excelled in football to the point his uncle started to call him D Block, which was the position he played. Basketball was where he connected with one of his closest friends, Verdon Hendricks, or B Diddy. They had known each other since they were kids and play basketball together. And when they went to different schools, the coach was trying to get B-Love to transfer so they can play together. But things didn't work out. Eventually, they chose different lives. b Diddy picked up the ball, while B-Love chose the streets, affiliating himself with the OGs, which was known as OGFC, Original Goons from Cortland. Talking a gun at 15, and he was known to beat up youngins for weed when he didn't have none. Whoever it is, how does he know this? Choosing the black forces because that's what buddy was on that's what buddy love was on i ain't got no weed today so i'm about to beat up any nigga that got some weed hell no nah. hell no nah. that nigga different that nigga different I, look i know some niggas that smoke the shit out of mo another motherfucker sack when they ain't got some shit but as of beating your beating your ass taking your shit and go roll up and make it a personal boy? That's different. That's different. In excess of than a motherfucker too though. But that's just different. The life his friend B. Diddy was trying to stay away from. And despite B. Diddy's decision to focus on <laughs> basketball in school, he couldn't escape his environment in time. Diddy has just graduated from Metropolitan Soundview High School and was hours away from attending college. And on the 28th of June 2020, he was shot in the neck near 176th Street and Morrison Heights, about two miles away from his home, just before midnight on a Sunday. Medics rushed him to the hospital, but he could not be saved. He was only 17 years old. ORP. Although the deaths of B. Diddy hit close to home, this was not the first time the reality of the streets hit Beloved. On April 16, 2012, OG's affiliate Noah Bala was beaten to death by members of the YG's. On that day, a group of YG's got drunk and began to argue among themselves about who had done the most for the YG's. This group, group of YG members went to the territory of rival gang and Mulrose housing project to settle their dispute. Upon arriving at Mulrose project, YG member Ant Flacker and other members of the YG saw Noah and attacked him. During the attack, Noah's skulls were fractured in several places. He was taken to Lincoln Medical Center and pronounced dead. Around this time, Beloved was 12 years old and Noah was only 16. Ever since, Beloved has been trying to find an avenue to express himself. He was a good kid that went to two months too early. He was falling into a dark place and he wanted to escape. In around 2015, he started to write music. At 15 years old, he recorded two songs from a home studio and released them on SoundCloud. Nothing like what we hear today. They were different, just regular. I ain't just about to skip over the fact that they just was drunk. I mean, it's gang shit at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? But it's like... Niggas got the arguing about who did the most. That is some like, I don't know, cause like I feel like men we be having like just pointless ass conversations, but we be deep into to them pointless ass conversations. Like it'll low key like, but little be arguing about the dumbest shit, bro. As men though, or niggas or males or whatever you want to say. Be having the most pointless conversations, and it'll get real toxic and just intense. And at the end result, is like, you right, or I'm not fucking with that, but it was whatever. It's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like games of 2K. You getting beat real bad, you want to throw hands. It's just weird, bro. But these niggas got drunk. Went over there, found him. I'm okay, some gang shit, though. I, I can't ignore that fact. It just beat him, bro. Just off the strip shit. 
I'm like I said, it's gang shit though. Let's keep it going. Killer songs, no drill. But he was not taking it seriously though, because he was heavily involved in the streets, juggling the block, toting a gun, but that would eventually call up to him. As he was arrested and charged for gun possession in 2018, and after his release in 2009, he jumped back into the rapping scene. At the time, his former friend Shah E.K. was rapping as well. Using the influence he gained from rappers like Lil Baby, Chief Keef, Kodak Black, and G Herbo, he recorded and released his first official music video, No Hook, in April 2020. From listening to the song, you can tell he took a lot of risks releasing it. During the course of the song, it was obvious that he was offbeat. Two months later, he will drop No Hook Part 2. He was on beat. I don't know. I gotta hear that. So fuck it. But he was on beat. No, hold on. No, go my feet up. Tell him dick by. No, he gonna beat on that one. Hold up. Hold up. I hear this nigga on beat, bruh. Uh, oh, here we go. It gotta be it. Call me number one. I did a GC run up on your nigga for his sweet if I ain't had none. I mean, you can tell he ain't got the, the, the rapper presence that he got now. Well, he went all beat. And you could tell the difference more confidence and his delivery and flow. The song accumulated thousands of views on YouTube and he slowly started to build a fan base. But his first million views came after Through the Coat, rapping over a Japanese drill beat from two artists, Jack Hungry and Lao Santana. But it appeared the business part was not all together and the video was taken down. In efforts Damn. to grow his fan base, he will collaborate with Char EK, which is a well known upcoming drill rapper from the Bronx. Seeing what B-Love was doing, his childhood friend K Flock would follow him to the studio and he would eventually start rapping as well. Both K Flock and Shy E.K. became cool through their mutual relationship with B-Love, but this would not last for long. Shy E.K. and B-Love are OGs, and OGs are also clicked up with the Harlem Seth and Sugar Hill name O.Y. O.Y. and Seth side, which is K Flock's side, were once cool, but due to street politics became known rivals. This all happened after Shaike homie Ida Baby, another promising rapper from Harlem, was spotted with one of their ops, Wuladi. This situation put OG members, including Beloved, in a position that forced him to either side with OG's DOA or OIOG's. It's confusing if you're not from New York. And after yeah. that, Beloved and Shaike French. Because I'm confused as fuck right now. Help me out, please. I'm confused. What the fuck is this nigga talking about? Oh, I ain't about to repeat nothing. It went out the window. As Beloved sided with the Seth side of DOA because of his loyalty to K Flock. And Shaike sided with OI, forming OI OGs. It is unknown if Shaike and Beloved will ever collaborate again. We all know you, you work with certain people before, whatever the case may be, from Cortland, like like shy ek you know and we, and we all love the music you know what i'm saying we would want to see more could there be more or is that like kind of like can't happen anymore probably, probably not okay. i don't know gotcha. what? besides the politics who's winning beloved has proven he has what it takes to be the next artist out of the bronx his music has more substance and replay value that most bronx jail songs don't have Beloved has released an EP titled Cortland Baby and his recent song If You Know You Know. Gaining millions of views on YouTube, he signed a record deal with Sony Music Group. It's only a matter of time before the world know who he is and they will wonder and where did he come from. I hope watching this video they learn. My name is CJ from Sh YouTube. If you made this far into the video and you like what you saw, please feel free to give us a thumbs up. Once again, my name is CJ and that was the real story of Beloved. Yeah. I mean, for the most part, he did kind of break down his life. Uh, more than I thought he was going to do, but he broke down, you know, pretty much childhood, teenage years, to when he started getting in the streets, to right now, you know, he, uh, I don't know how old he is. Well, he's born in 2000, right? So he's 21, 20, 20, 21. I mean, shit, it's November now, so shit, 2021, whatever, right? But, uh, but yeah, he, he, he broke down a lot of the, uh... The base layer of just like his life and shit. You feel me? I, I honestly did before this shit. I didn't even know how old dude was. None of that. He could have been 16, 
to fucking 20. I didn't, I didn't fucking know. I just knew the shit I heard. I fucked with. I'm waiting for my everything to drop. That's actually my shit, though. Uh, uh, yo. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think it's going to drop, though, due to that sample. But, shh. Anything uh, possible, though. But, um, yeah, the real story of B-Love. I'm actually about to go through dude's channel, see what else he got. Uh, shh, YouTube, yeah, like I said earlier, uh, buddies, you got got them, uh, 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 any problem with me doing it with the videos to your shit? Go ahead and let a nigga know something and shit. We can, uh, take this shit down. Anyway, uh, originally, two videos down in the description. I'm going not be top. Damn, my Twitter and shit, and whatnot is not at the top, but look, though, snort it, do everything. I'm gone.